This is the Nikon D4, the new professional level digital SLR from Nikon that replaces the D3. It has a newly designed 16.2 megapixel CMOS sensor and an ISO sensitivity ranging between 100 and 12,800. Now this can be expanded for a range between 50 and 204,800 in the high and low sensitivity modes. It's powered by the Nikon XP3 image processor. It has what Nikon describes as being the fastest automatic focus system of any camera Nikon has ever made. It has 51 autofocus points, 15 of which are the crosshair type. And some of those crosshairs are even available when you use the longest of lenses and a lens converter. So even when shooting things very far away, you still have some control of the autofocus system. It's got a newly designed autofocus switch here, and you'll be able to toggle through the different settings that are available to you while looking through the viewfinder because you'll be able to see what settings you're using animated upon the screen. This camera has a new 91,000 pixel metering system, which Nikon describes as giving it the ability to be able to take a constant live feed of information from the surroundings so it's always ready to shoot. Nikon says that this camera is able to shoot in the most challenging of conditions and the darkest of conditions and should give you a sharp photo with automatic focus, even in moonlight. To further help shooting in those dark conditions, the buttons along the back, the sides and the top of the camera are all illuminated so you can put your finger or thumb on them even in the dark. On the rear is a 3.2 dot LCD which has an integrated ambient light sensor so it will adjust the brightness and saturation accordingly to the conditions that you're looking at it from. The D4 is able to shoot 11 frames per second, or if you're using the automatic focus system, then 10 frames per second. Now, as well as stills, this camera can also shoot full HD video. That's at 1080p resolution. Uh, there's a mic out, uh, but there's also a headphone out as well. So you can monitor the sound levels through your headphones. And if you don't have a pair of headphones at hand, then you can also use the screen on the rear, which will give you a visual audio levels output. Now a video can last up to 29 minutes and 59 seconds on this camera. And Nikon has moved the recording button to be just beside the shutter button there. When recording video, you can set an index point. So when you come back to edit later, you'll know the points of interest that you need to go back to. You can also take a two megapixels still while shooting video. The positioning of the buttons on this camera have been modified slightly. Uh, now you've got even greater comfort when shooting in landscape or portrait. So you have the shutter buttons in the same place and the autofocus on off button beneath your thumb in the same place. There's a dual memory card chamber just here, and it takes not only a compact flash memory card, but also a QXD memory card, which is the next generation of memory card and even faster than compact flash. On the side here, we have an HDMI output, which will allow you to display the video that you're shooting live on a separate monitor. Uh, there's also an ethernet port and a wireless internet adapter can be added too. So as soon as you've taken those photos, you're able to send them back to the office and share them. Despite having a lower capacity battery than the previous professional digital SLR from Nikon, the D4, according to Nikon, will give you more performance from this smaller capacity battery due to a more efficient shooting system. Finally, this camera also gives iPhone and iPad support. So you plug your iPhone or your iPad into this device and on the screen, you'll be able to see exactly what the camera is seeing, although to a lower resolution, and you'll be able to control a number of the functions, features, including recording video and taking a photo. So that's the high-end, professional-level Nikon D4 digital SLR camera. For more information on this camera and other digital SLRs, go to our website at which.co.uk forward slash cameras.